Well, it's nearly Christmas. We're a few days away from Christmas as of this uh, airing. We're going to be talking about... What have you got here for us? It looks like Christmas food. The, per- the perfect Christmas food. What is our... T- so when, you, when you're at a Christmas table, imagine this, at the Christmas table, Damn. all your family around you, all the food, what is your what is your number one go-to thing? Like, it's like I want more, oh, more of that thing. This is going to be an interesting one because you, you we're both ethnic, right? You're... Like, you're you're from Japan and I'm from <laughs> No, but like where you come from, Hong Kong, right? Like I'm sure the Christmas, like what's traditional there is different to what's, I, I'm born and bred London. I'm like a Londoner, right? Mm. So like what's born and bred here for me might be different from your family. I don't know. So this is going to be an interesting conversation. So let's just, let's get the ball rolling here. Okay. Um, I'll let you start, man. This is your one. Okay. You can start with this one. I mean, we've got Brussels sprouts versus Christmas pudding. And I mean, one's a... One's two classics. A, yeah, two's a classic. One's a side, one's a sort of dessert thing. Me personally, I love Brussels sprouts all time of year. Like I know they've got hate, but I think I think that's a kid thing. When you're a kid, you eat yeah. them. But when you grow up, you kind of develop a palate for it. Well, for me personally. Yeah. And I absolutely love them. I think... They are the top tier foods and like done well, like cut in half. You know, even even this picture, this is this is the perfect picture where they sprinkle bacon. We'll, we'll go, we'll go, we'll base it on the actual picture itself, right? Because obviously, there's so many ways to do oh, Brussels yeah, sprouts, yeah. right? So let's base it on this dish here that they're showing. So Brussels sprouts are fire. I again, Christmas pudding is one of those ones I recently. I hated when I was in my youth, and I, I'm slowly developing a taste for it, but it's not quite there yet. I think my yeah. problem with Christmas pudding, in my head, I always think, oh, it's going to be chocolate. So in my head, I've got like sticky toffee, sticky toffee pudding sort of programmed. Yeah. And then when you open it, it's like, ah, oh, it's, it's not. It's actually cat poo that they just put together. <laughs> yeah, it's not that. Um, I, I, I completely agree, dude. Like, um, Christmas pudding's never been a staple in my family. Like we've never had it. Like I've never had it for Christmas. Well, I've had it like randomly at M and S when you yeah, go and yeah. it's like a reduced. I'm like, oh, let me just try it or something. But Brussels sprouts are like one of the best green vegetables you could ever eat any time of year. Just plain by themselves, or when you have a bit of butter on it, olive oil, like sprinkle a bit of like hot pepper like anything you want is good and this picture looks like there's there's onions in it and i'm an onion guy so yeah. brussels sprouts all day every day on this one it's gonna be a hard one to beat to be fair in this yeah. competition we, we might have already had a contender here so here we've got the uh, uh how do you say this one is it panatoni. Panato? Yeah, panato panatoni and the yule log um i think wow panatoni okay, I is italian i want to say but I yes yeah it sounds, sounds italian i think it's creeped its way into like like you see them in Aldi all the time, those whack off boxes, and they do look pretty yeah. cool. I I've never had one, so I can't. I'm I'm gonna say Yule Log just straight off the bat. I do like Yule Log. My my wife loves Yule Log. Like she's just obsessed with it. Big, um, big, it's, it's, it's a big black log thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Um. It's not. It's not particularly like the best type of pudding you can get for Christmas. If there, there there's a certain pudding that dessert that if it's on this list, like that's gonna be final for me. But this one is like it's a, it's an okay one. I'm gonna go with Yule log. Um, yeah, I, th- I with my puddings because it's Christmas. I like them to be warm, and both of these tend not to be. I have a pan this year. Have a panettone. You'll like it. Like your kids will go crazy. I'll try. I'll try one. Yeah, I'll try it. They are good. They are. They are good. It's like. Um, Which one gives me diabetes more quickly, a panettone or Yule? Oh, panettone. It's like. It's like. It's basically a whack of croissant, with like milk bread croissant with raisins. Oh, okay. Like so it's it's pretty well, not croissant. Yeah, milk more milk bread, but it's it's fire. It is fire. So okay for the sake Sounds good. for the sake of this because you've not tried it, which we you will readdress and you'll tell me later on that it's fire. But we'll go with the um, Yule log. Yule log. Okay, we might have to revisit this video and correct it. <laughs> it's <laughs> like one part. <laughs> Okay, so we've got Bucks Fizz and we have Pigs in Blankets. I'll let you drive this one. I have books. I never, I didn't even know Bucks Fizz was a Christmas thing. Uh, and Neither did I, actually. I, I I know it comes out at Christmas. I just never had it before. I've never had it. In, I've had it once uh, recently this this year, but I had like a traditional Christmas. Just, just before this recording. Yeah, before. <laughs> I had a traditional Christmas where I had like breakfast, 
salmon and books fizz and no, or salmon croissants and books fizz that's we had and that's apparently that's an english tradition i don't know if you know that or not I, no i didn't I, I, I didn't um so books fizz was something i think it's, it's champagne or champagne orange juice i think uh just mixed together it's like prop sounds nice yeah it's proper cheap champagne it, it sounds fine um I think people tend to have it as breakfast, but I might be wrong. It's just like a throughout the day. Thing. Okay, this is good for our American fans who who don't know what. I'm, not, I'm sure I'm not, I'm not sure if Americans even have this. I don't know. They have big. They have pigs. They must have pigs in a blanket. That's like you'll be. Oh well, pigs in a blanket. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they do, but they might call it something else. So uh, this is basically just sausages with bacon wrapped around. Yeah. You know, I'm 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 my wife's Muslim, right? So I haven't had pork for. Coming up to twenty years, shit, really? But, oh, fuck! But I love, I love the taste of it. So for me, I'm, I'm doing pigs in blanket. You've not, oh, fuck, mate. That is, I feel sorry. <laughs> like it's about no. seventeen, about seventeen years, seventeen years. It's been sacrifices you have to make, I guess. But shit, man, you are, you are, you are missing. Oh god, I'm, I'm sure. Oh god, like that is that's. I think these are one of the things I look forward to, Pigs in a Blanket at Christmas. I- They're amazing. I remember eating them. They're amazing. I don't know why, because I don't know why we don't have them year round, cause, but we but we just have them at Christmas, but they should, like, you should, I should want to eat them, like, all year yeah. round, but I just don't, but, yeah, yeah, they are, they're, yeah. Well, it's safe to say it's Pigs in Blanket. They're going through, right? And Pigs in Blanket with the Brussels sprouts is, like, amazing. Like, that combo is <laughs> so good. All right, let's go to the next one. We've got um, sherry and gingerbread. I'm, I'm not dry. I'm going to go with gingerbread. I love ginger. Um, I don't like alcohol, so sherry's not going to be nice for me. It's, it's as simple as that. Gingerbread man for me. Yeah, sherry's like an old person thing to have. I do. I, if, you know what? I do like it at Christmas. It is quite nice. A nice sherry at the end is, instead of like a coffee like at the end of the meal. It's quite a nice like sitting with the family and you're just chilling out, drinking sherry. I do it's more of an experience over the actual drink. The actual food itself is kind of rank. Well, the drink, but just the experience is quite nice. So, yeah, I guess based on that, I'd go with gingerbread. Gingerbread it is. Right, so we're on round five. Eggnog and cranberry sauce. I'll let you start with this one. Eggnog is, I think I've had it once, and I do remember really liking it. I, I can't remember. You look like someone that would like eggnog. <laughs> I can't. I've never tried it, but you look like someone that would try it. It's more of an American thing, though. I think so, yeah. I think I think you can buy them in supermarkets, but I'd imagine they're not great. But you know what? This year, I'm going to go out and buy some eggnog just to remember okay. the taste. I, I can remember it being... It looks like really spunk. Nice. <laughs> spunk with, in, with a, a twizzle straw. Okay. <laughs> with a big cock coming out of it. <laughs> I um I've never had eggnog. Um, it sounds horrible. Like eggnog, I like I love eggs, but like eggnog, it just yeah. just the wording, it just doesn't sound. Like, I'm gonna go cranberry sauce because every Christmas I have it with my lamb, and it's just like so nice. So I'm gonna go cranberry sauce on this one. Well, it seems like you're going with eggnog. I go eggnog because I okay the idea of cranberry. I just don't like that that combo. Like I don't like fruit okay. with my meat. It just doesn't. It doesn't quite sit well with me um i mean this this whole tier is a bit of a losing tier so whatever goes through is probably going to get knocked out straight away anyway so i'm not as bothered but i do think eggnog is we'll go with eggnog yeah. it's fine we can go with eggnog mulled wine and stuffing stuffing is my thing i could eat just a bowl of stuffing if needed are you on about um, the paxo instant shit or the actual like- i don't know whatever my mum makes i don't know what it is <laughs> but whatever she makes is what i would i love um, I don't again. Don't I don't drink. I don't like the taste. Have, of you, had, have you had mulled wine before? Uh, I must have done, but I can't remember. I I, I know I, it looks horrible. I don't think. I'm oh, gonna... this is it is amazing. Mulled wine is the best thing ever. It's overpriced shit wine, warmed up. It sounds absolutely <laughs> wild. <laughs> it's just warmed up, <laughs> but that this somehow makes it good. It just it. Uh, yeah, it, this is a tough one because stuffing is. Even the it, like I said, even the the water, you know, the instant stuffing is still quite nice as well. Like stuffing is awesome, man. Yeah, it's it's hard not because it's a may. You could have it by itself. You could also have it as a secondary thing. 
Yeah. It's like, it's so good. Like it does make any dish nicer. What? Whatever Christmas food you have, you have a bit of stuffing, it makes the dish, it gives it that extra little, ah, yeah. oh, this is a better dish than it was before. Yeah. So I always think stuffing is really good. What I like about stuffing is you can play it up or you can play it down. Like you can, you can just have the normal, like packet stuff or you can like mince some mixed meat and it becomes yeah. kind of secondary meat thing so yeah i guess stuffing but ugh, more wine is nice like give your kids it they'll there like you go. it <laughs> turkey or mince pie um you start with this one okay so in my household turkey usually isn't i mean turkey is the traditional one yeah but it's not the one we usually go with um i think we usually go with Weirdly enough, we used to go dog. With... Dog, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> what do you go with? Monkey's brain or something? <laughs> Just a live gorilla on my plate. We go with. I think we go with pork, weirdly enough, or chicken. Pork or chicken, actually, weirdly enough. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so, turkey. Like, I'm basing it on, like, this is, I guess this is all a cr- traditional Christmas, and turkey is traditional. And I think probably turkey, although the healthiest meat. It's probably the easiest to, like, and 90% of the time it gets fucked up. It's so dry and horrible. Like, 90% of the time it's so hard to get right. So, unfortunately... You have to keep bathing it in oil and stuff. And uh, Unfortunately, I do go mince pies just because turkey is it's not the meat. It's, it's not the meat. Um, I don't have a strong preference here. Like you, turkey's never been our thing. We have a mixed selection. It's always been chicken and lamb. It's been our kind of main meats that we always have. We always have like 50-50 chicken and lamb. And then we have a little bit of mix of like pork or other little things here and there. Uh, This is my family I'm talking about. So turkey's never really been there. But from the turkeys I've had, I would say it's nice because of the gravy. So I'm not sure if it's the gravy that's doing most of the talking or if it's the turkey. Um, Mince pies, they're like, they're okay. They're not like, they're not nice. Like They're not like, oh, uh, mince pies are really nice. Oh, these mince pies. I've never come across a mince pie that's like, oh, these are really nice. I, I, it's always been, yeah. it tastes like the last time I had mince pie. It's not bad. Yeah. It's not anything to write out. They're just, they're just basic. They're just fillers, like anime fillers. <laughs> like, it's just like, have a mince pie because it's a mince pie. Like You are right. So I, I'm actually going to go towards turkey, to be honest. Kind of, you are right. Mince pies are, like, you are 100% right. They never... <laughs> Because everyone gets them at Christmas, but they never, they're never nice. They're never horrible, but they're never nice either. They're just there. Yeah. They're just, you're eating something. You're just eating yeah. to chew. Like, it's just like, I don't know. It's, just not, it's a waste. Yeah. It's, I, might, I might as well eat something else. It's Christmas. You need to eat stuff because you need to get. That up. you like to taste of. Yeah. You want to eat the best foods that you like. Yeah. Fair enough. I'll go turkey then. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, you okay. Me. I'll go turkey, turkey it is. And this is the last round before we get into the finals. Oh boy, we're gonna have some arguments. Yeah, this is this is this is the one. Um, I mean, I'll let you. Who wants to go first? Let you go. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. So one of these are I, I like both. I really really like both of them. But one of these are like my favorite vegetable. Like probably my favorite carbohydrate ever. Oh, okay. Parsnips. And that's parsnips. Really? Parsnips, roast parsnips are the best thing. Like, I've never felt more strongly about this. Out of all of the, you know, the, the, the chocolate thing that we had, the chocolate comp- uh, ranking we had, yeah. this ranking, this is possibly the one thing, like, the best chocolate on that whole thing would not compare to roast parsnips for me. Really? Oh. I am I am advocating to this so much. Although roast potatoes are amazing. Like they're they're like top tier, but roast parsnips are like they're S tier for me. Really? Like Oh no. <laughs> oh no. It's with 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 butter. Oh my god. I would no. I would oh. I don't I so, so I'm gonna go roast parsnips. So give me give me your 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 uh, your flavour. Roast parsnips are nice. I don't they got like a stringy taste to them maybe we're not doing them right i don't right no not a stringy taste to mine mate i, I don't mine just tastes like it's like potato texture like it's like a, a roast potato texture kind of thing <sighs> if i'm gonna have a roast I, like they never like, okay if your if your taste has a roast potato texture it's never as good as a good roast potato you know where you kind of 
have them in the oven for a while it's in goose fat and it's like proper crispy on the outside like i just don't think you could get better than a, like roast potatoes is probably the condiment like i like you know when we say like what when it's all on the table yeah and the plates there i will stop i will stock up on roast potatoes they they're the thing that i would go for and i would argue that, you know what i know this i'm not arguing this is that is the this is the best form potato apart from crisps this is the best form potatoes <laughs> has like better than really yeah better than mash Mash, Good old mash. Yeah, mash is gross. I'd hate mash. Like, like, mash is just baby food. Like, better than chips, better than, like, waffle fries or whatever. Roast potatoes is. I, I, I think I might agree. Ja- I don't know. Jacket potatoes are pretty, you know, with the cheese and the... Yeah. I don't know. We, we need to have a potato com- <laughs> uh, potato <laughs> ranking here because there's, there's a lot. But, like, I, I roast potatoes, like, for me, are, like, they're top tier. So I don't mind these going through, but just for the viewers to understand, so there's no hate or anything, and people can be like, "Yeah, Alex is right." <laughs> there's hate. Parsnips, roast parsnips are the best thing on the plate at any given time in any meal that they're involved in. What? So you? Maybe it's just the way my mum does it. I don't know, but so you stock up on ro- parsnips then over anything else? Because yeah, they, they've got they've got a, a sweeter. I understand what you mean with the stringiness. I, I kind of get that. I understand it now a little bit. But it's, it, it, there's a sweetness to it. And I don't know. It's like, oh, it's savory, but it's sweet at the same time. And it's just, oh, God damn, they're so good. There are um, nice bits, you know, when because parsnips aren't like, they're never uniformed. And you get the ends and they get caramelized. You know, when you got like the kind of burnt ends of parsnips. Yeah. And they are amazing. If you could just have like the burnt endy bits, I might I might be convinced. But yeah, because just the way you kind of they're like kind of chewy, chewy caramel. And it's that is I agree, that is amazing. Like, <laughs> just the end. Yeah. Just, just the, the five five percent of the, the actual parsnip. Yeah. Alex, I'm just eating the end. You can have the rest. <laughs> <laughs> like Lady in the Tramp. <laughs> <laughs> so uh um, you know what I, I'll, okay i'll go parsnips because yeah i do agree like i do think the end bits of parsnips are probably the best thing are you sure because the way i see these competitions will is that we both like well i think we both like roast potatoes and we rank them very highly i love parsnips but you're not as keen so I think the one that has the general consensus over both of us should be the one that we go through on. That's how I see it, like, these, these things. Uh, probably because I get the feeling parsnips will just get eliminated. Well, I would advocate parsnips. It'll just get eliminated, right, the next round because yeah. you just don't like don't like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I think I think roast potatoes universally probably is – I think I know parsnips are a hit and miss for a lot of people. So we'll, we'll, go, we'll go there. Look at all – Oh, okay then. Yeah. Pigs in blankets for me. Yeah, I guess so. Pigs in a blanket, yeah. It, they are. Yeah, that's hard to beat. I do love pigs what in a blanket. Put, what are you putting? Stuffing or gingerbread? Uh, you know, when I... Weirdly enough, when I think Christmas, I do default to desserts more than... I think sweet more than I think savoury. Really? Yeah, I think so. I'm not saying that gingerbreads are nicer, but I do think some sweet dish be in there. I, I go to make it quicker. I go uh, stuffing, but I okay we, stuffing is me. Roast potatoes or turkey? I'm going to go roast potatoes. Yeah, yeah, roast potatoes as well. Yeah. I'm just trying to think like if we don't have some sort of okay. Then, oh, this is a tough. No, it's not a tough one. Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Yeah, Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Oh. Right, here we go. We're in the semifinals now. Okay. He's in blank. His or stuffing. This is tough. I'll let you go. I, I, I can't decide, to be honest. I can't decide. <laughs> this is, they're equal. Um, I could probably eat more stuffing than I can pigs in blankets. If I had a bowl of pigs in blankets and a bowl of stuffing, I probably could have more stuffing. I think the stuffing is complementary with any meat. Whereas pigs in blankets can go with some things, but it won't go with other things. So yeah. I think universally stuffing might have the edge. It's more versatile. Um, 
I guess my yeah. problem is stuffing is a, like pigs in a blanket are consistent. You know they're good. Like wherever you go, yeah. they're going to be good. Whereas yeah. stuffing, it can be inconsistent. Like it's it, varied. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It can, I think it's sometimes it can be pretty rank, and sometimes it's absolutely amazing. So based on that, like you know, like if you went to other, we went to a spoons and it had stuffing, or like if it's not your mum's or whatever, you, yeah, you don't know what you're gonna get. Whereas pig you're right, blanket, you all you you know it. Yeah, okay. Well, let's go pigs in blanket then. I think that's a good good argument. Right, and then we've got uh, roast potatoes and Brussels sprout. This is because th- these two are. Uh, this is the final for me. This should have been the final. Uh, well, no, out of the ones we have, anyway. Um, I, I have a bowl of Brussels sprouts and roast potatoes and parsnips on the top. <laughs> I li- literally that would that would be. I'd be fine with that. Um, I oddly enough, I'm gonna go with roast potatoes with a bit of butter on the side, just a slight sl- slither down, the, the hot, <laughs> steamy, and the crunch, the crunch. Um, I'm going to go with the roast potatoes, but it's only because of how I feel right this moment in time. Mm. If this was tomorrow, I could go Brussels sprouts. So right now, I'm just going to go roast potatoes. I, d- I don't know, you know. I... Unless you can give an argument as to why, I'm, I'm happy, I'm completely fine to... The change. Brussels uh, roast potatoes are probably my favourite food. Full stop. Like in in like out of all of these, but I'd say like what makes me feel like Christmas. I think roast potatoes just are nice foods, but it yeah. doesn't like it doesn't evoke like joy and Christmasness as Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts are. I connect that with Christmas, whereas roast potatoes, I connect that with Sunday dinner as well. I don't like it. Right, yeah. It doesn't It doesn't give me that joy as Brussels sprouts do, because I know Brussels sprouts only come out at Christmas and not usually any other time. So like, I'm, I'm, it gets me extra giddy over potatoes. <laughs> so. so are you saying Brussels sprouts? I'm saying Brussels sprouts, yeah, I think. Yeah, you know what? I think you're right, because it's... we. I don't have Brussels sprouts. The only time I actually have Brussels sprouts is at Christmas. And there's no reason for it. It's just like, I get excited for that reason as well. So Brussels sprouts it is. Like I said before, pigs in blankets with Brussels sprouts is a great combo. Um, This is my final. I'm going to go with the Brussels sprouts. I think they are, I think they're more versatile. They go with everything. Like I said before, um, I would like having a like if you could have amazing pigs in blankets and amazing Brussels sprouts dish. The amazing Brussels sprouts dish would be the one that I would say is more quality. I, I would get more enjoyment out of that. If they were both like top notch, the Brussels sprouts one would be the one that I respect the most and have the most enjoyment out of. If I yeah yeah, you might be right because yeah, a good Brussels sprout you can't beat it to be honest like. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe Brussels sprouts as well. I, it is tough. It is tough because, yeah, I think I would be able to eat more Brussels sprouts than I would be able to because the fat kind of it gets a bit too strong. Whereas yeah. I can just go ham, and as as well, I can go to town on Brussels sprouts and not feel disgusting as well. Like I'm, I'm fine yeah. eating them. <clears throat> yeah, you don't feel you don't feel like. You don't feel like crap. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I'll go Brussels sprouts. Okay. Well. There you have it, guys. That is our Christmas food, random 16 Brussels sprouts. Let us know in the comments below what Christmas food was missing from this list. What Christmas food do you think should have won this list? And what is the most important question? Are our parsnips the best thing on a Christmas plate? <laughs> I say yes. Some people say no. Let us know in the comments below. Hit the like and subscribe. And check out our other videos if you haven't already. Give us some suggestions for, for videos you want us to do. Um, we can do our, our own ones any tournaments or rankings that you guys want us to do just, just hit them up in the comments below and um, with that I've been Alex I've been well and we're out peace